Ad Astra. Thank you for com. Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I w he was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get so on. Uh, he just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small... What? So the ad... Yeah, <sighs> exactly, right? Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Of course, here it is. Come on, Paimon wants to... Paya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon from what he wrote, hmm. Or maybe the... Yeah, the letter says that he... Something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. Oh, well then. Kaya, you're really here. Paimon, have hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friend. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The acting grand master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. Sumeru Spice, that's why the Knights sent me. They're foremost expert in alcoholic beverages. And? Have so far... Yeah, that Well, let's not get it. Hey! Using your judge... Oh? What makes you say... Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. Hmm. And? <laughs> Do I have to? Well, all right. I overheard my... I'm sure you'll agree that every... And so I still... It wasn't long, but it was a short-lived adventure. Honestly, not much. 
The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started... I used to believe that I had inherited, but then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt, as well as ensuring that I'd be safely cut up. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, these days, my surname, Alberich, is probably the only link... One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. So you remember me? Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alp. Huh? What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until- Oh my. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just ha- You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new not- Kaya! Yeah. Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly series. So what if I know my ancestry? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as- Either way, looks like we're out of time. Uh... See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dave? The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, precisely because there is a succession of sorts. I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! Not new. Not exactly. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these met. So, you're going to the pl Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. No. Now is- no. It's- I'm still waiting for-
Wait. This place, it's familiar. What about it? It looks pretty normal to- Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very- Let's search the area and see what we can find. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long- It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left. Wait! We're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able- If you say so... Well, uh... You lead the way then, Dane! <laughs> You smell it. Oh, so it's a medicine? There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Huh? This is... It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth their attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instinct... But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Noises? Is it... It's not much. Just some minor adversaries.
case, this year's Rite of Dissension is soon to begin. If before I became an Archon, I... I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be a ley line anomaly, perhaps. Okay. I'll go slow. What? You're going. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I mean, not to mention that if even. F uh, fair enough. I think there's a bump. do this time. Sad stuff. Let's talk about all right, all right. 
it's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will... Oh, come on! Don't say that! Paimon just... Nighty-night! Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. What a deep sleeper, hmm? Tear stains. All right. Rest. is not whatever you think your travel com your companion departed for what business is that of yours hmm? do I make myself quite clear leave well what are you waiting for <sighs> I've still I'm warning you, no funny biz. Okay, fine. What ha- You- <sighs> But no overreacting to anything you see in Come On Then. Mind your own business. Don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest. Huh? You know Conria? Who are you, exactly? And how do you know I'm from Conria? Do you worship a god, traveler? Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida, and you are correct. I was once Conrian. Oh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct, and all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been... Few and far between since the Cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer the curse. <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. We lost our home. Our loved ones, all we can do is watch helplessly 
as our souls erode and our bodies decay. Because, although Con any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens, when the Cataclysm came, we pure-blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Here's Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. And then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth, all due to my selfish desires. And, and after all that, I always owed him much. And now I... She was. <gasps> we were... Mm. It could be worse. And now... Now that I have lost all, if nothing else. Ah, yes, I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me, if, if you're uh, so inclined. Here, I'm sure you're wondering. Well, it one which will help him to recover his. I do not hope to break the curse, but it is said that this medicine. I believe that it might just work. I read about it. You know, in my youth, I, I. <laughs> The gods have already punished us. Never mind. As it happens, my hands don't have the dicks. Okay. <clears throat> also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? Oh, wonderful. This is... Is it done? Hmm. In all honesty, I, well, the moment has finally arrived. No, no! I said before that this medicine relies on the power, which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Let's go. Look at this god 
of wood. I will utter no prayer, nor will you and your kind destroyed my God of wisdom. I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and an unfortunate soul, my son. If everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is please, God! I... Bear? Well, uh, we've prepared the meth. Cory Bear, it's me. It's your father. Cory Bear, Cory Bear, please. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I. I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Cory Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? I'm so sorry, Cory Bear. Forgive me. Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. <laughs> Oh, gods above, what more do you want from me? You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Uh, other... Reasons. What do you mean? Huh. You, uh, you really think so? Give up? No, no, n never. Even if I must stay here with him for... Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> we'll make another dose. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things... <laughs> Complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. I, the details don't matter, right? <laughs> Kirk, you're curious. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Good. <laughs> then. It
Ah, you're back. Uh, Corabert's condition is stable. By which I mean he... Anyway... I need you to stand guard here for uh, a while. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, good. Monsters! Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide. Oh, yes, um, I've got the fertilizer. The effect. Next, we pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. So I have been... S <laughs> I do indeed. That's why it was just a f fleeting thought. Thank you. Let's begin. Huh. Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Cory Bear? Oh no, he must have left while we were... Come on! That's... that's not Cory Bear. Oh, right. Cory Bear's scarf what My... my eyes must be going. Ah, oh, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems in... yes. <laughs> Did it go in here? What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Huh. It looks like there... Uh, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, 
This... Teleportation device? What energy is powering it? get on the ceiling. Did the room turn upside down or gravity itself? It seems like I need to find a place to insert the room. Fate has 
not granted you the right to enter this place. <sighs> Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial. He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you... Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious. I saw that thing, my... I am. Uh, oh, uh, uh, is that so? Okay, I have a s for this to happen. <laughs> you said well, I have to. Mama... 
Mama is. Of course. Oh, yes. Salvation. How do you feel? Yes. It feels like I... Papa! What's happened to me? Uh, don't panic, son. It's just... There's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you... Am I... No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you. Yes, really. Oh, oh, and uh, never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, you... Okay, Papa. I won't. Not since that day have I been so... <clears throat> I knew that pl once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> but the god we saw in that cave... Oh, now, that... That wondrous power... <clears throat> now then, piety is hardly my <laughs> area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should... A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. You... You don't know a single thing. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. No matter. <laughs> I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Thank <laughs> you. 
impossible! What happened? The Hilly Churl worshippers have disappeared too. What? Was it all an illusion? That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was... Let's go, Traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance and I, I do believe that someday in the future we shall see it again. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Cory Bear? Where has he gone? Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's there's no sign of a break-in and, and no sign of anyone having... This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ra... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't how we... Oh, no. The mirror! It's broken! He must have taken his mask off. And uh, if he'd just done as he was told, uh, we have to find him. His scarf. Uh, looks like we are going the right way. Uh, come on.
Curses! Forest Rangers. Hey! Who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh... I asked you first. Don't... I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see... Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... You... you Forest Ranger scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the Forest Rangers! Curse you all, Forest Rangers! I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly tr- You... He'd only just regained his mind. So tell me, Forest Rangers, did you really spare none of them? Jeez, you're really not gonna let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross- I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in- <gasps> Yes! Wait, you're leaving? Not even- Stop! Whatever you saw, I, I, I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Kari Bear, how could this happen? He come, Kari Bear. We have to go home now. Papa, Kari Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I thought. It's all... It's all too much. Papa! <sighs> Finally, it... Ah, Traveler, you're awake! Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. <laughs> I suspected it was you. Oh, oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake. My real name is Clotar. Clotar Alberich. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power. <laughs> Oh, at long last, I have seen it. That is no business of yours, a sinner. Yes, Salve Coribert did not deserve his fate, but now, it's wonderful. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become the loom of... Huh, sinister. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would... We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the Abyss. A wondrous... And the one who controls the Abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. 
We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead, O oh, Prince of Conria? What did he just call me? while you were unconscious. I checked the ley lines nearby. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? You mean Clotar Alberich? After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And after a hundred years, he lost it his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously. You could say that. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh... Hmm. So you saw his memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the Loom of Fate did indeed rear its head during that time, and it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment? Indeed. Clearly this series. What is it? The field? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. You scared the Duke out of Paimon! Did, did you rebury them yet? A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's hope. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? What? That's impossible, unless... Clotar Alberif. Mm. This all raises far too many questions. We should part way... Huh? You're just gonna... It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who's he? Yes. I have my... If the time is right, I... But what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? I fear that while these things would limit anyone else... All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes Dane. Hmm? What is it? Huh?
publishing house has released numerous work layout military strategy. Time to begin work? Stay close and you will live. We're way behind schedule.
Out ahead. Hey, uh, hello. Do you know where Kazuha is? <laughs> You're looking for Kazuha too, huh? Guess he must have done something impressive after all. <laughs> well, we took the small vessels into Rito on a routine supply run, only this time, as soon as we entered the harbor, we ran into a huge crowd of Inazumans. Oh, if it's because of that battle on Nizuchi Beach, Captain Beto had a great run there too. Kazuha keeps to himself most of the time. Oh, so I've heard bits and pieces. Something about him bl Ugh. Is it really as big a deal as everyone's making? Really? Wow. He was called away earlier by some people from the Tenryo Commission. They said they had something important to this. I thought they'd come to arrest him at first. Turns out- Just a little while ago, this would have been- Thank you! Guess we'll go- All right then. I'll just- longer does your master plan to- I have no idea. Master's been very on edge these past- I understand that he's anxious. Yeah. If Lady Hiragi is really taken away- Uh, maybe- Hello. How may I help? We arrived here two days ago to ask- Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very- Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we apologize. It was- We promise our presence here- If this stalemate can- These people from the tent- I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiraki. I heard that the Kanjo- To be honest. I'd be hesitant if I were her. Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh! Uh. Sato is now at the center of every conversation in Rito. By now, the Kanjo Commission probably knows how important she is. But what about what she thinks? Uh, let's go and see. I assume 
you've heard about everything that's been going on out there. Don't worry, we can explain everything. After the Tenryo Commission arrived, they suddenly became alarmed. I never would have thought that... I'm sorry. Maybe there's no right or wrong decision. I used to tell my... I didn't feel reassured at all. I keep thinking back to what Sir... Ka I can happily accept that, but... That's... Ah, oh, Lady Hura... You... What do you think you're doing here? Calm down. They're... Friends. Lady Hiragi, you are extremely... Who's to say? If you want to accuse us of trying to... Don't be rude. I... Listen to me. The present state of affairs in Rito shows me this is not... Understood. Good job, Chisato. I was so nervous. Yes. What? We had a serious discussion, in all honesty. Ah, I'm so sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the- Would you- Would you please- I suppose you're right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. We'll head off to the Kamisotoistic Lady Hiragi. How did we circle back here again?
I await your instruction. Treasure this good fortune. <sighs> 
Don't tell me they did it again. Everything's ready. Let's go. Off as incidental gains. Yeah. <laughs> 